I'm not sure if he'll get to this or not, but oh, what? <laughs> that's another reason why you use the female. It only works with the female. Yeah. The oh, he closest. didn't hook up the what? Oh, genius! Wait, what did? He... Oh, I see. Okay. Oh man, that's smart. So he he, he didn't cheat the puzzle or anything. Oh, he just made okay. the exit a lot quicker. So he pretty much skipped. Like a couple uh, hours of gameplay. Yeah. More than a couple. He, he skipped the majority of the game right there. Goodbye. What the heck? He's flashing oh. red. There's a bug. Oh, the <laughs> that's heck? cool. Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't like it. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is... Daniel Lackey from uh, Skookum Arts. I am the co-owner and artist slash designer on The Pedestrian, and I have here with me... Uh, Jed Lackey. I'm the programmer and more technical side of everything. And Logan Hayes. I'm the composer and sound designer for the game. Awesome. Yeah, and so we're, we're reacting to uh, the speed run um, by, by Moose. Moose SR. And we're excited to see how terrible they make our game look by just <laughs> breaking it to pieces. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what you saw was the opening to our game. It was just an animation, uh, but now's where he can really start doing stuff. They always choose the, the cold female. open. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's quicker to, to uh, choose the female. Because all you have I to see. do is just hold right. Yeah. So I guess that me. Oh, oh my geez. god! Oh <laughs> jeez, that was quick. In and out of what we call puzzle mode. Uh, sheesh. <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll be interesting because I would assume because we we had actually talked about like with with our game speed running like placing the signs in specific positions and the connecting of them will probably make quite a big difference. Yeah, and, yeah. it looks like he placed them the really close. Longer, the longer the line is between doors, the longer it takes for you to travel between it because you're actually moving through a, the set distance. So the closer the nodes are to each other, the faster you'll get through. Man, this guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quick. Yeah, he's definitely using a mouse and keyboard. Um, and we thought like when we were uh, making the game years ago, that it would be interesting because this is like all about puzzles and everything if speed running was more based off of how many times you clicked versus like how fast you could get through it because uh most of the time our game is like sitting there and huh. kind of optimizing your path so like how many clicks it would take for you to get through something but i'm I'm seeing too, he's like doing these like little mini hops at like certain points. I feel like he's he's like optimized the best number of hops or something for the path. Yeah, down. I've to noticed speed it up, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with speedrunners I notice when they're like about to fall down a ledge, they jump before they fall down the ledge because gravity will go ahead and start pulling them down faster than if they just fell off the ledge. Huh. Yeah, I do that actually for not this sign, but the sign after when, uh, so when the piston is going down and you have to run over and push the oh. button, if <laughs> oh you <my> can, <laughs> he skips it. <laughs> Am I behind you guys? Uh, no, no, no. We, we, we just noticed that, uh, there's this in the previous sign. Uh, we didn't know this when we first released the game, but you don't even need that piston back there. Wow. Like you don't need to turn it on. I, I always get hung up on that sign That's too. Perfect timing. Yeah. I want to see him mess up. What? <laughs> I don't think he has yet. There is a trick to jump on top of the... Or was at one point oh, a bug that you could get on top of the elevator. I don't know if we ever squashed that or not. But that would be huh. a, yeah, I don't a know. tricky way to maybe cut off a second or so. But. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of developers say this, but we, we said it a lot when we were making the game, and that was... If the average player can't break the game, it's probably good enough. <laughs> oh, look at him, like, tweaking the signs just wow. to... <laughs> That's a really awkward setup. But yeah, like, if it does, if the average gamer can't break it, then it's probably it's, good yeah. enough. Um, 
but then, you know, most of the time we're not considering speedrunners and how yeah. they can totally just take advantage Dude, of little he's things. Dude, he's freaking beat the the where because th th this is the end of the the warehouse and he's done it in what three forty? That's crazy. It's funny because we um we we played through the game like a ton when we were testing it. Basically, anytime we'd have like a major release. Uh, for for one reason or another, we'd have to play through the entire game, and so I I started trying to optimize my playthrough and in, in order to make it quicker. But he's he's like well beyond what I was able to do in the past. Yeah, some some like larger studios they'll create like an AI system to kind of like play through the sure. game for <laughs> them so that they don't have to keep playing the game. We're just but, too too cheap. Yeah, we're. We just couldn't do that, so we had to play through the game like Holy probably crap. about a thousand times at this point. So we, yeah. I feel like we know all the optimized routes, but this guy is surprising us already. Yeah. All right, very nice. Oh. Okay. I haven't seen that configuration. Yeah, usually, usually I do it a different way. I guess there's yeah, there's two versions of this. Yeah. I wonder... That's actually the way I do it. Really? I wonder yeah. if, if this version is quicker. Oh, dude, I've seen is. that before. You see how they're twitching with the box? Like, if what? you let go of the box and then dude. grab it again... You think? Like, spamming it. Then it kind of pushes the box faster because you're half running, half pushing. Huh. Oh. Yeah, I, I did, um, in one of the later levels, which... I'm not sure if he'll get to this or not, but... Oh, <laughs> that's another reason why you use the female. It only works with the female. Yeah. Because the position of the key on her it's... back is different than the male <laughs> character. Oh, yeah. Dang. We knew about that one because somebody else did it, and we're like... I've never seen that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, because I, I, I had thought about it previously about... The, the the box because I think you move at half speed when you're pushing the box so um, on some levels you can set it up in such a way that um, you have to push the box the like minimum distance possible yeah. and so that definitely helps a lot so see like right there he, he could have let go of the well no he preset it up I see he yep. yeah he, he, he pushed the box to a specific position so that it'll make his job faster when he comes back to it See, this is smart, how he's just kind of like, he doesn't care about overlapping signs, yeah. it's just about, like, the Oh, he closest. didn't hook up the- What? Oh, genius! Wait, what did he- Oh, I see! Okay. Oh, man. That's smart. So, he he, he didn't cheat the puzzle or anything, oh, he just made okay. the exit a lot quicker. Wow. Because other, yeah, otherwise- Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, otherwise, there, there at the end, you'd have to, like, go through go that transition. Go all the way back up. I wonder if this is- I wonder why he's putting the components in the bottom. Maybe that's so that some sort of reason. The further along he gets, the the less he has to travel downward. I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, he missed the the ladder. No. Oh. So there's been a few minor mess ups, but I don't think that's really going to slow him down any. Oh, and you see, see, see that too. He placed the the exit sign in that specific position on the right side because he can get back to the hub quicker. Man, that's crazy. He's doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was the jump. I wonder how many times he had to play it to perfect this. Yeah, that would be so infuriating. Like you just make one mess up, and you got to huh. redo it all. Well, the the, the good thing is, is that. I guess, you know, he beat the entire thing in, uh, like, what, okay, 11, so, 12 minutes? So his, his actual yeah. turnaround time for doing a, a, a play playthrough is actually pretty quick. Okay, so what you just yeah. saw there, like, he knows the codes in the train yeah. that take you to, to all the, the different areas in the game. So he just punched in the code that takes you to the last area in the game. So he pretty much skipped, like, a uh, couple hours of gameplay. Yeah. More than a couple. He, he skipped the majority of the game right there. Um... <laughs> So, all my hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never what mind. the heck? He's flashing oh. red. There's a bug. Oh, <laughs> that's heck? cool. 
Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> no! I don't like it. Stop flashing red. I've never seen that oh, before. Oh, thank you. Dude, it's like he was listening to us. What is okay. he not? So, I wonder, huh. let me just make a side note. This coming up, we spent so much time to bring this moment coming up to an awesome M. Night level, M. Night Shyamalan level twist. So if you haven't played this game yet, oh, don't watch any further. Bruce Go Willis pause. dies in the end, so sorry. No, oh, you dang jerk. It. <laughs> don't watch anymore oh, if you haven't the played heck? the game. He's glitched Come out back that to this TV after you've too. Played it. That, that, that TV shouldn't have the drain on it. I don't know. Man. Weird. That's crazy. Here he goes. That's something wow. I've noticed too. If you go like really quick, that that animation tends to lag. Yeah, all these animations are based off of an average speed. Look oh, at that! He just clicked through the door. <laughs> Gosh! It feels Here like he goes, he's running baby. faster than normal too. Oh, he's probably gonna do that one trick that yeah. we used to do. What? I think he got it just close Did enough. He? Okay. This is crazy. All the way to the finale. Oh, he doesn't need Under to. He just grabbed. Okay. They're, they're, yeah, I guess that, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I always, we always push um, the box fully into that corner, but I guess you don't have to. So he saves a little bit of a, just a tiny bit of time. It's nice to see that there hasn't been any lag spikes or anything, even though he's yeah. just barreling through. It's oh still yep, frame oh jeez, oh yeah, he's, <laughs> he's doing so the quick. Trick. <laughs> yeah, so normally you would have to do a whole thing where you drop the key on the jump pad, bounce it up, and you got to go around yeah. and everything. But he was able to like, there's a trick in the game where you can freeze the player in midair. So he's doing that. Like we didn't expect it to be. Yeah utilized here but he's literally freezing the key up in the air so he can grab it right here yeah dude i i like there there were a couple positions um in this area where you could do something like that and i thought i got all of them um, oh my gosh i guess there's still a little <laughs> cheeky spot where you can do that that's crazy oh i'm glad i set up all the colliders properly <laughs> otherwise he would have just been able to go right off the roof and just skip everything here he goes haha -ha. The loading stops you. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Boom. Here he goes. Wow. Dude. 11 minutes and he's already to the apartment. And, and he's out. There he goes. Jeez. <laughs> this is where you're supposed to take your time and look at everything. All the hard work we put into making it look good. He's just like, ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, man. It's a compliment and an insult for speedrunners to do yeah. this to your game. It's fun though, I like it. Yeah. Wow. So 11, 11.53.49. Holy cow. That's crazy. He didn't get it under 10, so I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was amazing. Good work, Moose. Yeah, that Moose. was crazy. Yeah, it's a Moose. Moose SR, thanks for that uh, crazy, speed run. Man. That was that was impressive. Um, so yeah, that That's was it. that was it from That's... the speed run, and uh, we are just about to launch the pedestrian on PS4 and PS5 on January 29th. Uh huh. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but we're excited to finally get it on our favorite console. So uh, be yep. sure to look, uh, be ready for that. And uh, there's uh, six years of work boiled down to under 12 minutes. Yeah. There you go. Feels good. <laughs> All right. Thanks okay. for watching, yep. guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.